Well, it's a very big day for the opposition National Democratic Congress. It has elected its flag bearer. It knows who is leading it into battle in 2020. But the lieutenant is yet to be identified. That is a big ceremony here. Party supporters, uh, party faithful, have come to the NDC headquarters in Adabraka, in Accra. They are waiting the arrival of the flag bearer of the party, John Dramani Mahama, to announce to them who he has settled on. Several names have been bandied about. But now, when it's cut to the chase, who really represents the party alongside John Dramani Mahama in 2020? That is under discussion today. The National Executive Committee of the party is expected to have a meeting here. Which meeting? And already the executives are in there. Now, it is at this meeting that John Dramani Mahama, the flag bearer of the party, would come to give to the party what its choice is for subsequent announcement to the public. And as I speak, it appears the former president is just uh, arriving in there, the motorcade is emerging, uh, and uh, well, the motorcade is just uh, coming in there, uh, the motorbike that is leading, the dispatch that is leading uh, the former president, the crowd are ecstatic, here, excited, happy to see the flag bearer, John Dramani Mahama, emerge. Now, he is a man who is going to lead them into battle, he's going to eventually tell them who the running mate is. Is it going to be Professor Jenana or Pokwajiman? as has been mentioned and speculated, or is actually going to be a surprise of the heart. He has come in now, uh, taking the salute and they respond me to the cheers of party supporters. So it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's it become apparent now the National Democratic Congress uh, flag bearer John Ramani Mama, former president of the Republic, has since settled on a candidate. As you may be aware, the flag bearer of the NDC just uh, had a meeting with the National Executive Committee of the party to consult us on his choice of running mates for the 2020 general elections. And that is in line with the constitution of the party, like I've already said. The consultation has taken place. Earlier, he had consulted members of the Council of Elders of the party who had given their support for his choice of running mates. At the, fact, at the next meeting, we just there's been a unanimous approval of the National Executive Committee of the choice of running mate by the flag bearer. And so I can tell you that the running mate of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama for the 2020 general election is Professor Nana Jane Ajima. I appreciate many characteristics about leaders generally, but three interwoven strands stand out. The first is keeping the vision in constant view. Second, maintaining at the forecourt of one's mind the impact of actions on others. The third strand, emanating from the two, refers to leaders who use power to empower the powerless. My experience working closely with His Excellency John Mahama has led me to really respect these characteristics about him. As a result, I have come to appreciate him as a leader of humility and integrity, concerned genuinely about the underserved, a leader by whom we can stand. It is not surprising that the country's own understanding of his vision for education, for health, and for social protection continues to grow and to gain currency. For servant leadership, I go for JM. Well, so uh, the, the announcement has just been made there. The former president, John Dramani Mahama, who is NDC flag bearer, has uh, just uh, decided to settle on uh, <laughs> Professor Nana Opokwajiman.
Uh, Mr. President, <laughs> well, um, he, he's, uh, he's just driving out now after having dis decided on who his uh, running mate for the election would be. Of all. Let's uh, move in and see if we can speak to some party uh, officers, uh, executives maybe, or members who have been coming around here. Samuel Nate George is MP for Ningo Pram Pram. The flag bearer has decided. Your comment? Fantastic choice. As far as I'm concerned, I think that the 2020 election is actually going to be about the implementation of free SHS. Free SHS is the major selling point of the Akufuado administration. Are Ghanaians happy with the way their children are getting impregnated and their children are having small spent, uh, class hours because of the traffic lights in the free SHS? They've set up an SHS desk at the presidency. Today you are going to have a vice president who understands education and will be able to ensure that we properly implement free SHS sure. and make sure, sure that Ghanaian children get proper education. Talking about your candidate, so the trend has been that you choose a running mate or a vice president for that matter who understands economics. You brought in someone who is an educationist. How are you going to argue your way out of the economy of things? Mm. The first running mate of the NDC... I have said that it's a, I've said it's a trend. Was, was, was Aka. Mm -hmm. Aka was not an economist. Right. When Professor Mills came in, Professor Mills did not come in on his strength as an economist. He came in on his strength as a taxman. So it is not correct. Is it the case that you are simply not able to find any economist worth the salt to be appointed as a running there mate? There is nowhere where it says that your running mate must be an economist. When John, Kufo, when John Kufo appointed Ali Muhammad, who was a civil engineer, was he an economist? Yes. There is no criteria that says there is no criteria that says that your running mate must be an economist. And we are saying that when you pick Baumia, who is an economist, what has he done as an economist? Thank you, someone. I say George is NDC MP for Ningo Pram Pram. Uh, that is. Let me speak to you. Are you, are you an NDC member? Yeah, I'm so an NDC member. What do you make of the new uh, person who's been unveiled? Oh, that woman that has been chosen is is fantastically um, good, because Mahama has no has the right to choose whatever she uh, he wants so he chose the woman that is good to to help him to uh, to develop the country so simple and um, simple and um, understanding is she very youthful this person you have appointed as your running mate i have worked with professor jenana opoku ajima when she was minister for education and if you look at the team around her look at the people that she works with she is youth oriented so as a youth organizer, as a young person, I am confident that I have a vice president in waiting who has the interest of young people at heart. What do you mean by she's youth oriented? What has she done? Her deeds, her actions? She sent people who were supposed to be training to be teachers at home because they didn't have money to pay school fees because allowances were withdrawn. How do you describe such a person as having youth oriented mindset? Allowance. If you want us to go into the argument of the allowance, and let me put it on record, that the NDC as a political party, we never withdrew or decided to cancel allowance. It's what we did, and I think that we have failed in the communication, and you and I will agree with me, was that we brought out a scheme that we were migrating all the students that were, I mean, teacher trainees and nursing students, onto the student loan trust fund. So that just like their colleagues in the universities at the time were receiving loans, which they will pay while they are working, we're migrating them. Let's have more understanding of who Professor Jenana Opokwajiman is. Fred Tete Jabano is my colleague in the city newsroom, followed uh, the National Democratic Congress and its activities a number of uh, times. Fred, um, this was not a surprise candidate because we had already uh, done our permutations. But who is Professor Jenana Opokwajiman? Um, Professor Jenana Opokwajiman is a former education minister, as we all know. She used to be the vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast. She is currently the chairperson for the Forum of African Women Educationists. Professor um, Jenano Pokwajman has spent majority of her working life as a teacher, um, a professor in the university. She headed the English department. She was the founding dean of the graduate school of um, the UCC till her appointment in 2012 to become education minister. At that time, she, was, she hadn't been involved in any form of politics. So many names had been thrown out in there, um, but she's the one who settled on. Who, which were the other names that we, we heard about? And one name which came strongly was the name of Dr. Kwabna Dufour, senior. Um, 
some few hours or uh, days before this particular announcement, we were told that he was in a poor position to, to be chosen as running mate. Even though the flag bearer had settled on um, Professor Jena no Pokwajima, we are told party bigwigs, some party bigwigs were still pushing for him to be chosen. The name of um, one person who was also a surprise to all this thing, uh, Mr. Kwame Wadako. Kwame Wadako was a former boss boss. And we had um, one finance person, one, one econom economist, Dr. Nimoy Thompson. His name also came in later in the conversation. Some few days before this announcement, Dr. Nimoy Thompson's name was everywhere. So these are some of the names which came up during the conversation or uh, during the lead up to who becomes the running mate of John Dramani Mahama. So that, that's a summary from Fred Jabano, my colleague in the city newsroom. Let me pick a few more perspectives. Um, uh, Fred Agbanyo once served as a deputy national communications officer of the party. Why did you settle on a woman, Professor J. Nana of Kukwajima? Was that deliberate or, well, this, you had no option? I think that uh, we informed the people of this country, even at the time we are going to prepare a manifesto, that we're going to consult broadly, we're going to talk to the entire society to tell us what they want, what they, they are looking for. And from our consultation across the left and breadth of the country, what they are saying is that the time has come that the Republic of Ghana is represented at the presidency level by a woman. And so it was that decision that the people of this country called for, that we have responded to as a political party, that President George Amendment has responded to. So it is nothing new that we have done. And so we have just responded to the call of this, the people of this country. How easy or difficult would it be for you to market her? I don't think it would be difficult at all. Uh, she's she, she, she's a, a, a well-marketed commodity, so to speak. She has marketed herself per her performance. Can I speak to you I briefly I speak about a new choice, um, Professor Jenan of Kajiman? Very good choice, my brother. What makes it good? Oh, the woman is very good. Look at where she was the education or the, the program that she bring out to the Ghanaians. She's a very good choice for us. As a, being a woman, I'm going out all for her. That woman is very good for us. So there is nothing that we can. We are going to work. You, you're sure? You, okay. So what what deliberate effort are you going to put in place to get the women vote for your oh, party? Oh, that one there is very small thing. We'll go out and talk about the woman. The woman is good. So some of us who know her very well will go out and talk about this. 